Well, I wanted to do a quick update for the build series, the very detailed build series for Cyclone Slayer. And um, this will be it. So let's uh, let's finish this out and get right into it. It'll cover, it'll cover quite a few. Th well, get out of the purple stuff. This is depth 216, around depth 290. Uh, things are going to get even more interesting. Oh, come on. That guy's a pain. Get out of the purple stuff. There we go, and he should pop and explode. No, no problems. And let's do this node, and then we'll get right into the into the video. Come on. Oh, I'm just standing here. I'm not. This is easy stuff for me. And we'll get you to this point as well. Um, the step-by-step -step new series is uh, is going into deep, deep detail on mapping and stuff like that. And and slowly getting you to this point and explaining everything but this uh quick update for this guy is going to give you an update on this this particular build and we'll have a path of building down below and everything cool hello and welcome to path of exile necropolis league this is the step-by-step -step guide on cyclone slayer and it's specifically cyclone of tumult now the problem was i the last uh episode i got into maps with this guy and um, it's really not fair to you guys either, but I got into maps and immediately went from 78 to like 78 to 90, 78 and 89 in a matter of like two or three hours. It was just flying through the EXP. We are getting 500 million EXP per hour or more um, down in here. And I wasn't even deep. I was way up here. I was in the easy stuff. And you can see I've done quite a bit of uh, uh, ex exploration since then. Um, I'll have a path of building down here below. Not a lot has changed. Well, well, I've, well, it's not true because I got a bunch more points to spend. Um, but I wanted to give you an idea of what the gear was, we, how we switched over, and give you a solution, a possible solution, for your movement speed issues. People have been um, asking about that and how I solved them. How I've solved them for this character, and you saw how fast I was moving down there, um, is by having this automation on here. So we have the automation. And not only that, but I've qualityed up those gem, that gem to 20% because it re reduces the cooldown and helps. But then this one is also qualityed up um, right here. Let's see, <clears throat> 20%. So the cooldown, so this thing fires off more often. So that's another, so these two help with movement speed a lot. Then we have um, this one right here that needs to be improved. It only lasts 7.2 seconds. So I can definitely get a better one of these um, just on the market. Basically it fires off by itself. The used wind charge is full. I think we went over that. There's also a perma flask video, how to, how to craft these yourself. And you can make a lot of money selling them. I've sold uh, probably 400 500 chaos worth of these and i haven't even been trying um maybe more so you know i just make them and roll them and if they look pretty good i sell them and then if i need it i keep it um so movement speed there i put um val haste on it adds a little movement speed but that's i really only use that and press it when uh i'm faced with a tougher boss or something like that or a tougher area that i want to really a tougher guy that i really want to smash down uh, movement speed on the boots and um you can get another probably five and then you could get elusive on here there's other things but that gets us to the point where oh and i took a oh, let's see on the tree i've taken this down here it helps a little bit right there a little movement speed i think we have four or five pa um max uh energy uh frenzy charges but then also phase run eats into those as well. It takes them away as you're running. So it's a little bit, not much of a boost there. Um, but that gets us to this point where we're doing about, you know, uh, this speed and then a little faster as well. And it's, I like it. And I, I think we go fast enough. Now I would like to go a little faster, but um, that's the trade-off between Raider and Slayer. The big upside of Raider was really nice, fast, consistent movement speed because what you guys are running into or some of you are is you're um 
moving along like this and you're trying and you're you're doing your cyclone of tumult and it's not moving very fast you're like what's going on here this is no fun there's another solution now it's a little bit tricky and there's some downsides to it because we get up to like a hundred and i think 150 movement speed when everything's cruising along um but this right here these boots called the stampede they're uh, i just bought these just a second ago for 30 uh chaos just to test them out and show you guys the the um what you could be doing so if we bring this up it's 42 percent but like I said, if you're moving along and you don't have any of the anything really on your, um, you, you haven't activated, you're not using or not activating this. You, this thing's not firing off. Um, it, it it feels really slow. Like minus fifty, there's minus forty, and you're like, oh, this is painful. Well, you could you could just throw these on. Now there's another downside I'll, I'll speak to, uh, speak about with, with these. Um, one, I I have um, no evasion. Um, because I use the anti, I can't be stunned, but I also can't evade anything. So these don't help me there. There's no, I don't see any health on these. Um, yeah, this is purely to solve the uh, mana regen isn't an issue for us. The cooldown of recovery skills might be something helpful, but um, maybe on those. But that still doesn't help us either, because this is what happens. Look at our, um, see our base speed? Even if I turn this on, look at our base speed. It doesn't change. So it doesn't help the phase run and the withering step and all that kind of stuff doesn't help with that anymore. This doesn't help either. Like if I press, if I manually press that, see, it's just stuck there at 50%. So if this is the speed that you're happy with moving, then you could replace this and use some other flask. Um, there's consecrate. You could get some more damage. You could do quite a bit. Um, you could get rid of phase run and you could open this all up. But um, that's my max speed, and I wasn't happy that with that it was a max speed. Not only that, but here's the thing. Look at this. So we'll turn that off. Now, this is pretty acceptable. Um, here's this is the sixth rank. Um, you could that's that's not horrible. It's not bad at all. Um, see, it doesn't let you go below fifty. It, it basically sticks you right at that fifty percent. Um, so that is a solution. The other downside of these boots, you're gonna have to um more than likely uh you could try to because they're dex and int it's going to be hard to get red on here red sockets so you'd have to spend i think it's like let's see sockets we'll go down to here at least three so 120 chaos per shot because you're going to want probably you're going to want triple red and a green something like this um but if there's other ways you could get around it but that's 120 chaos which is worth roughly or uh, 120 chaos 120 chromatics which is worth roughly about 10 chaos so you might have to do it twice um so anywhere from 10 to 20 chaos to get this done um there's other other ways you could get that but it's more complicated but that's just another thing to look at so it's not terrible but this is a possible solution to um the speed the speed thing i like this one i'm cool with this and I'm cool with, uh, let's see, this movement speed plus this. I'm cool with that. And I like the ability to have more stuff, more you know, more control over the, the stats and, and everything on the boots. But that is an option. So let's go on to the next thing. I have a lot more to upgrade. Um, and I've made the switch over from Thief's Torment to these. Now, what you want to basically look for is... Um, a, a ring that has a prefix open. That's the cheapest way to do this because these rings, if I tried to buy these, uh, this plus that, and just like that, if I tried to buy these, they're gonna be uh, non-existent. <laughs> How about that one? Search, non-existent still. It's brutal. What about um, without this on there though? And now it's really cheap. All of a sudden, let's make it into a chaos ring. Search, and it's about 50 chaos. You can get, you can find these and get these for uh, 50 chaos each. Um, but the trick is, you're gonna want to find one. If I hold Alt, see that where it says prefix open, and it's Elrion's um, craft. You're gonna have to get that unveiled yourself, and or find somebody that has it unveiled. Unveiled, and I think I paid them like 20 chaos to um, slap that on there, but you have to trust somebody to actually craft it on there. So you're gonna have to find two of these with the um, 
specifically with that that line that says um the 20 life per hit that's how i'm staying alive and then any other combination it doesn't technically have to be chaos rings it's just it's nice to have that um ideally i would have liked uh double chaos with the uh gain 20 life on hit and then none of the other stuff really mattered to me but it's <laughs> it's okay so those two rings allow me to swap over from thief's torment to this setup um there is another way you could do it there's a ring that has a minus four to total mana uh cost so you could get one of these there just one of those and then one of the um implicits that you can roll with and this is getting complicated i understand that um with this kind of currency either it's one of these um, there's an implicit that reduces the mana cost of your attacks by, I think it was 20%, and that was just enough for some reason. I think I combined it somehow, but it got my mana cost uh, from 6. Let's turn this off so it's not... From 6 down to 4. So if you can get one, and I have one somewhere around here. Um, is it right here? There, that one. Um, if you can get your mana cost down to four, which you can do, then you could put something like that on and it would only cost two mana. And then you'd only need one of those rings. Well, that's a possibility as well. But I'm going like that and like that. Now let's talk about the weapon. That's going to be your, probably your main, um, issue. And what I did was, um, I've, I've upgraded it over time. I've done a lot of buying and selling. Um, I've done a lot of stuff out. Basically, if you're trying to gain the currency to do this, standing around in your hideout is about the worst thing. You're just losing money because there's all kinds of loot out there to get. But I started off with this weapon right here. My first chunky weapon. And I say chunky, but it's not that, that crazy. Let's see. It was right here. I'm about to sell. I'm a hope, hopefully going to sell this. I re reduced the price down to five divine. It'll sell for four fast, five it should have. But let's take a look at the DPS. If I use Awaken the PO, POA tra Trade, that's an 835 DPS weapon. Um, let's see if we search. What is it? There's one. The next one down is 10, 15. This should sell. But it's not six linked, so maybe people are just looking for six, six linked um, items. There's a way I could actually six link this up and maybe get some more divines out of it and sell it cheaply. But that's the one that I'm selling. So somebody's going to get an easy deal because you don't really, you could just use your six link here and then this, this doesn't matter, like matter at all. I could be using a, a five link because I've just got haste over here that's not linked into anything. Uh, Val haste, actually. So that's the first step. Um, you should be able to get up to five divine. We uh, showed multiple times where um, I was selling alteration or uh, orbs orbs of alteration for 140 100 and even even as low as 125 for 40 chaos you do that enough times it adds up you're gonna find i found two or three divines on the ground um i, I can sell other things you'll be in good shape you just got to get out there and keep looking for stuff there's another little trick you can do and i'll show you that in a second um and we'll do it with on, on this thing um so that was the first one. Then I went over and I spent, I think, not 10 divine on this one. And let's take a look at that. It wasn't that much of an upgrade. Um, I'm hoping to sell it. Let's sell it for uh, nine divine. So I'll lose one divine on it, but I just want some divines back because the next weapon that I broke, I, I spent was a, this one broke my bank. <laughs> um, let's take a look at this one. This was, 995 dps but it was per it was really a really good weapon for me if we look at all the stats and we will in a second let's search and see what we've got 45 divine late last night this thing popped up and it was 15 divine i only had 11 so i had to scramble and sell a bunch of things i offered him 11 plus like 142 chaos and he said nope and i said i understand i said it's cool i i mean it's it's so I sat there for the next half hour. I swapped everything. I sold a bunch of stuff and I was down to 11 chaos and 
hardly anything. I was <laughs> I needed to generate 15 divine without anybody buying it, and nobody did. And I'm I after I, I said I I <laughs> I raised the funds and I got that. And this thing's really nice. The uh, increased damage with bleeding. We do tons of bleeds. We do the it, it's got my accuracy on there. That's fine. That's kind of optional. But the um the crit multiplier is really nice and the attack speed the physical day all that adds up to really good results in fact on path of building the link below if you if you click everything and then let's say you're um we're approaching 2 million we're at like 1.9 million against just you know like mapping situations or going in in especially like in delve situations where creatures are on full health if they're not on full health i think it drops down to like 1.7 million uh um dps per second so we're getting we're approaching 2 million and we're going to go beyond that with this character um which is pretty good not bad um let's see let's take a look at the actual character sheet on here i think our crit is at with this thing up and running too because it's up and running quite a bit this one right here Let's see, I think it's like just 50%, let's say, almost 50%. And we can get that to go up even higher as well. So we're in good shape. I hope this helps. Take a good look at the path of building to see, um, you can really go over everything. And it shows you, um, I'll bring it up right now, but um, it shows you this in detail. Um, I did <laughs> spend some more health points because I'm only at 4,000, I'm a little squishy. But um, I'm gonna be improving all this as well. And let's bring up the path of building. The link down below will bring it bring you to poe.ninja. And you can do a bunch of things. You can look at other people's builds. You can look at the economy. This site is amazing. It really is a, a really good site. But um, this will show you all the different things that I have. The weapon. Um, all Everything. You can look at the uh, every single node. Um, what else? It shows you the, the links and the, uh, the gear that I'm using. And it looks like I've only it's 20 and 20. Does it show the quality? I don't think it shows quality here though, but it shows everything. So it's a really good uh, link and you can just check things out and go from there. And let's take a look at the quality. It's important to um, make sure you quality of, up the things that um, actually do help. So this withering step, let's take this out for a second. If I hold down alt, the withering step inflicts withered debuffs for each enemy. Well, I don't really care about those. Um, so that I didn't do. But on this one, um, if I hold down Alt, it's 10% increased movement speed. If we quality this up to 20% when it fires off, and it fires off a lot. Um, same thing with this one. Um, it in uh, The sported skills increased cooldown recovery rate. So I hope that helps with the other ones. Um, this one is really important. We hold down Alt on that. 5% more attack speed. That's not increase. That's a flat out multiplier. Uh, it makes a big difference. And let's see. Uh, let, that one's better. It has so, a little air, more area of effect. Cool. This one, more, uh, not more, but increased attack speed. This one was increased damage. Let's see what Fortify does. Here we go. Let's see. Have I? I haven't maxed it out. I wonder why. Let's see. Increased fortification. Oh, it wasn't that important to me. I needed the. Let's see if we have enough for it. Eh, let's do it. So, uh, the duration is going up. What is it currently at? Does it actually show the duration? No, I think it's like six seconds. But if we get that, it would be up to 7.2 seconds, I think. Nothing wrong with that. A little, a little more defensiveness. there now we're even stronger and that costs about one chaos per on one of these so that was 20 chaos to do that i think that's why i kept i waited till um i waited till the end to do that but that's okay um that's what you want to do i hope this helps and i'm going to show you this little last trick see this i just found these and let's bring them up and it says 10 chaos 15 chaos so i could probably sell these for nine really fast but I'm wondering if I can take a, a gamble. Let's do this. Uh, let's quality it up. And you can do this with um, rings and amulets really cheaply because you don't have to do this first step. 
Um, so I qualityed it up, and I'm just going to use some of these. There we go, and I'll even link it. Okay, so now it's technically a little bit better than everybody else's, and I could probably sell it for if somebody's specifically looking and saying, hey, I want the better one or whatever, that would be great. Um, but I also looked at these before I did this, before I said, yeah, this is a candidate for doing this thing that I'm about to do to it. I looked at the stats and it said the, ro the current rolls, they weren't terrible. The 29 fire resist, the life is a just, just below mid, and then it's a higher physical attack thing. So it's not a terrible one to use it on. It would be nicer if it was a little bit better. But this is the next, this is the risky part. Now, if I vowel this, it it could turn it into a completely different item and just junk it. It could just corrupt it and do nothing to it. Or there's a chance that it could put an implicit on there. That would really raise the value of this. If somebody was going to use this comb spirit and they saw the implicit on there, we would have a better chance of selling it for maybe a lot more. So... I don't want the nine or 10 chaos maximal or you know, for a quick sell. I want to see if we can gamble here, modifying it unpredictably. Let's see what we get. Maybe we might not get anything. It might be just junk. Here we go. Oh, we got something <laughs> nice. Now let's look at this item. There might not even be one like it on the, uh, we put that on there. There's not a single one. So let's take this off and this off to see if there's anything on here like that. Oh, one point. Now all of a sudden it's 1.25 divine. We're going to sell this for one divine. <laughs> um, Let's see. Because this is the thing that matters. Let's double check. 1.5. Oh, 34. Oh, this would be. This is going to go fast. We're going to sell it for 1.4 divine. So that was, instead of getting, um, let's check the price right here. You can always, oh, <laughs> let's check the price right here. For Divines, it's at 149 right now. So it's 150 uh, chaos. So we'll get 225 chaos-ish, 220. Not bad for a gamble there, but a lot of people don't do those gambles. <laughs> they just chuck them aside but it could turn out really nice um so uh let's do this exact price we could do chaos or just uh but we'll do divines and we'll say 1.4 to sell it the fastest i can and if it doesn't sell for 1.4 I'll, I'll i could just roll it down to 1.2 but um it sounds like this thing should or will sell we'll see and then i'm going to sell these back so i'm not going to go with the stampede route but um, exact price, we're going to sell them for 30. I bought them for 30, but I did some work on them. We'll do it for 36. <laughs> I'm just messing around. It's fun. All right. So I hope this helps you. Um, if you need more step-by-step um, -step guidance and help in mapping, I would suggest moving over to that series because it's more generic and it's going to show you how to well, it's going to show you how to do every single little step. Um, we start out by placing the map device. We start out by doing... Um, uh, we're, we're Right now, we're doing our first trades. Um, we're doing oh, Okirik missions um, and explaining those. Every single thing is going into deep, deep, deep detail and explaining it for new players. If you're a, a long-time player and you're playing this build, the next steps are simply to continually upgrade your gear look for um like i'm going to be upgrading this um and i've got a few tricks but i'm going to be upgrading this and getting it corrupted um i can get way better of these i can i'm going to be switching off of the these gloves into more of a um it'll they'll have health and other things on there we can still get the damage out of them but i'm gonna have to give up on the fun explode part and get some more utility and defense out of these because i'm pretty squishy at four thousand this but um i'm doing well uh i hope this helps and i'll see you in the other series now i shouldn't do any more updates on this because um it, it it's just upgrading and upgrading gear and getting more loot and that's going to be better explained in a step-by-step -step video series on the end game itself 
So I hope this helps. If any questions, just let me know and we'll go from there. So I did, you know, the Stampede is an option for four people if you want to swap over to that. And it gives you other, you know, it frees up other abilities. So not a, not a horrible option at all. I just, I'm happy with the movement speed of what we're at. So have a good one and enjoy, guys. Cool. I have fun with this. <laughs> yeah.